Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. So today we're going to chat with Louise Hay in the afterlife. Now I've talked with Louise Hay before. She has a playlist here at Above Life Channel. Make sure you check that out. If you don't know who Louise Hay is, I can tell you. She is the woman that founded Hay House Publishing, known for their self development books, their new age books, their spiritual books, their, I mean, so health books, wellness books, all sorts of, oh my gosh, there's a radio shows now. It's like an empire to connect you with learning for your heart, for your soul, and for your mind. And she is someone who is just a legend. She's legendary. And in the afterlife, she's definitely been a bit of a mentor, I would say. I look up to her, I respect her in the afterlife. And although I will say too, Luis, you know that I haven't really been super fond of some of your work. Like I'm not opposed to it, but like just affirmations and healing your life and the very simple way that you go about encouraging us to to heal ourselves, I haven't been as, it hasn't really resonated with me a lot, the process. And maybe it's because I am not at the speed of gentle flow and change in self-love. My self-love is like passionate and bold and boisterous and it can be sweaty when I'm exercising and out in the brilliant hot sun to just allow my body to drink in that vibrant light energy source. And so it feels different to me. But I also think that you have done so much for so many people and with your actual, your work as a spiritual mentor, teacher, advisor, maybe. No, mentor or teacher, I think fits. But I am most impressed with your ability to build your business from scratch, from the ground floor, and open it up to so many other people now have opportunity to have a voice, to be able to share their work and share their messages and, and connect other people with resources that they need to have on their journey because we're not, we're not all the same and we perceive and receive information differently and at different times of our journey, different states of our life, we need different types of support and you created an incredible business that offered other people the opportunities to do that to be more fully themselves to fulfill their missions and life purpose and i just think that's awesome that's the part i love about you to me you're like a rebel louise i love that i love that about you she laughs and she says oh i'm not quite like james dean she said i'm not quite like that young man she says I never had the talent, she said, like that. You know, I think everyone dreams of maybe being an actress or being in the movies. And, and at one point in my life, maybe, perhaps I thought about that as well. But I am not someone that wanted to be or intended to be remembered as a legend, legendary or famous, you know, like a celebrity. I, I wasn't one that... I never really considered that <laughs> that would be my life, my life goal or, or my dream, no. More so to encourage others to, to bring forward their light and to give a, an avenue for people to do that was important to me, to let people have their voices heard. That was the first, the first, and, uh, the first principle of my company. And now after so many years and so many authors and teachers and so many different ways of teaching, of communicating and connecting, it's fascinating to me how, how there's so much technology and innovation. And yet, as a humankind, we seem rather slow, slow to adopt the the new opportunities or, or perhaps or perhaps maybe it is to uh, so we are slow as humans to receive what is our god-given god-given promise to receive to 
be provided for and to have abundance and to have education and to have opportunity and to have experiences where we can learn and grow and that life isn't intended to be filled with tragedy. It's not a chain of tragedy. It is more so the tragedy that we cannot seem to as a human accept all of the beauty and all of the abundance and all of the wisdom that is just available to us already in a human body. Yes, even with the human mind, even with the ego mind running its job, working hard as a machine like it is, it is doing its job and in doing so inadvertently can prevent us, you, she says you, from receiving just the simple basic knowledge, the simple basic awareness. It's you didn't get the memo. You did not get the memo that life is 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 lovely and bright and filled with ideas and interesting people and opportunities to collaborate and to expand and to reach out in love. You didn't get the memo. You just didn't get the memo. But don't feel badly about that because you can get it now. You can get it today. Louise, you look very yellow to me, very solar plexus. She says, thank you. She has like a little yellow, kind of a, like a jacket that's yellow, bright colors. She says, I know how much you enjoy the sun and that the yellow energy vibration is connected to the spirit. Just in case the purpose of my, my uh, presence isn't obvious to you, Bridget. <laughs> okay, because I came out, you guys, here at Above Life Channel, I came out and I was gonna channel, I had a couple ideas in mind and there were two ladies that I was feeling into and as soon as I pushed the button, it was her. I mean, I personally need you right now, your energy, because the world is such a confusing place. And as you indicated, it's supposed to be simple, like things are so basic and accessible to us, but it feels like they're not, Louise. It feels like they're not. The world feels so complicated right now. Why? Why? And I know why is not the question. It's like a rhetorical question. You can't really respond to the why. It's the, she says to me right away, what do you need? What is it that you need? There, is need? there is a need that is not being met and that is why there is disruption. That is why it's so complicated and so far reaching or far away from you. What is it that you need? What need is not being met? Is it peace? Is it a need for peace and calm? Because I don't feel that it's that. It's not that that you are seeking. It's quite different than that, isn't it? If you ask yourself truly, you will hear the answer. You will feel it. You will feel it from your soul. Okay, you guys, let's do that. Let's ask. Let's ask, let's take a moment to just feel into our physical bodies, knowing the beauty of the surroundings and connecting in with the power of the simple, simple beauty in life right now. It's clearing the energy. Breathing with intent. What need is not being met? What is the need? What is needed here? What is needed? Ask yourself that question right now. What is needed? What is the need that is not being met? That is being pushed aside? Clarity, clearly, there's a need for clear, clearing the path, clearing the way, clearing the channel, there's a need for that. Clear thought. Abundance. What need is not being met? There is a desire for power, for the kind of power that comes from being so, 
so connected to the spirit. When you are connected to your spirit, you are so much in power. You feel empowered, empowered, inspired. You have passion, you have choice, you have freedom. You feel strong, you feel encouraged. You feel connected. What need is not being met? The need for clarity. The truest connection is in who you are. That is clear. So what's going on around us? Is it, is it a distraction? The emotional connection, the ties, the bonds, the erratic energy messages that are entering our consciousness through thoughts, through social media posts, through media posts, through current events, what? There's so much chatter, clutter, clutter. It's clutter. It's cluttering the mind. The clarity comes from the connection inside. What do you need? What do you need? The need is being muffled. The connection to the spirit and the soul, the clear connection in knowing who you are, knowing what your power is, that's being muffled by the clutter. It's not the fault of your mind. Your mind is simply responding. It's a machine processing the messages, the information, the context, the world around you, the storylines, the articles, the images, your processing, your mind is processing. It is doing that quite well. What need? What is the need that's not being met? clear connection with your soul, your spirit. I believe you, Luis, I know. I feel really emotional, you guys. <laughs> All of a sudden my eyes. Uh, I want to keep this open in a broader con context. Oops, here, that's my microphone. Broader context. So it's applicable to all of us, but I feel personally so much need I need to feel plugged in and connected to myself, purely to myself, not being influenced by comments, commentators, commentary, <laughs> noise, airplanes, flying high in the sky. How is it fair that airplanes can fly high in the sky, right up into the clouds? Hmm. like a spirit. <laughs> a sky represents freedom, doesn't it? We look to the sky and imagine heaven. We want connection. And the connection within ourselves first and connecting through our spirit then. Once we are connected with ourselves and aligned, plugged into our spirit, Ever, do you guys ever go try to plug your phone in and sometimes you don't like push the little thing in quite right or it's kind of crooked or it's not making a good connection and so it doesn't really charge your phone? Or you plug into a battery, a portable battery that isn't fully charged itself. So even if you leave your phone plugged into that little portable battery for like five hours, it only charges it like not even halfway because it doesn't have the capacity because it's not plugged in like fully plugged in, it's not fully, it's not up to its capacity, that's like us. So we gotta plug in. So let's imagine our little USB ports and plug in to our spirit. And simply, just simply that, that's an incredibly empowering action. Now we're powered. Now we're powered by source, by prime source energy inside of us and then then when we get inspiration to act, then when we feel into our connections and communications with other people, we can feel in sincerity the generous nature 
of the connection, of the relationships, of the abundance, of support, and the sincerity, the sincerity and the genuineness of that relationship, of that person, of that soul. Oh, there's so much more possible then with all the, those authentic connections. But in order to be authentic, I have to be connected into my soul. You to be connected into your soul before we can really be in that authentic flow. Then we can be clear and not cluttered, not cluttered. The mind is not a bad guy. I've never believed that, never. The mind serves us. It's a part of our human experience, just like our physical body is. Our physical body is not a bad guy either. But this is where, in our physical body and in our minds, is where we get the most, the strongest of messages. The strongest of messages. And so our body and our mind can show us right away, they're like red alerts where we're out of alignment, where we're out of alignment. Then we start to have feelings and we're evoking feelings and emotions and, and automatic responses because our mind and our body is giving us the red light or the yellow light or the alert. Battery's going low, battery's going low. So what do we do? We gotta go in and connect with the basic source, our source of power. And that is our power center of our solar plexus, that chakra in our belly, the spirit of who you are. That is perfect. Thank you, Louise. She says, oh, thank you, Bridget. She says, I'm not the one doing all the work here. <laughs> the rest of us are. The rest of us are, you guys. All of the viewers, we are the ones <laughs> doing all the work. Thank you, Luis, very much. And any of you viewers here at Above Life Channel, you can connect with Luis Hay for yourself. You can do it. Well, a great way to do that, one of the tips, is to use writing or journaling to do that. Just have a conversation, write her a letter. Do that, start with that. Or go ahead and do some Googling and do some research and get access to some of the wonderful free resources that she created from her work in the world. Remember, Hay House Publishing was her company and she has a lot, there's a lot of uh, talks that she's done and books and affirmations and things. If that resonates with you about self-love and healing yourself, you can check all of that out online. You can find it on YouTube or just Google it up. All right, lots of resources for you for connection if you want to learn more from Louise Hay in the afterlife. So this is Bridget. It's been my pleasure to connect with you here today on Above Life Channel. The purpose here is always to inspire, inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope because this, oh, this, my friends, this is your life. It's your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.